Absolutely, and it is still nice and hot if you're heading out for a night swim. We still have temperatures in the 90s in both Temple as well as Colleen, 87 in Waco, 90 in Gatesville. But those feel like temperatures still at the triple digit point for a lot of these spots. So keep the AC going as you head to bed. We saw another sweltering day across central Texas where hottest temperatures, Gulfway and Hamilton, 108. But it was toasty no matter where you were this afternoon, especially with that humidity factored in that made it feel up to 121 degrees in the afternoon in Colleen. So excessive heat warning that of course is still in effect for all of Central Texas until 8 o'clock tomorrow night, which is also the first day of summer. So if you're heading out and about tomorrow, enjoying the summer again, probably going to want a pool and something to keep you cool. Best time to walk the dog as we have bandit on our fur cast former shelter dog and is going to be, of course, the closer to sunrise and so the closer to sunset. I have the red paw by about five o'clock. So we're going to get highs in the upper 90s, but feel like temperatures are still going to top out above 110 in many spots. That's why that heat advice or that heat warning, excuse me, has been extended just one day further. Not tracking any rain on this radar, but we do have the potential to see some showers starting on your Wednesday night and during those overnight hours, some of these storms could be on the severe side. Those details a little bit later. All right. Thank you so much, Ashley. Appreciate it.